welcome. It's a pleasure to get to this point where we're actually having this event. We have a great partner in San Jose City College. They saw the vision of what we wanted to do with this Declaration Day. We're going to have a really good time showing a lot of love to these young honorees, these young scholars that have dedicated so much of their time and effort to academic excellence. It's always a pleasure to uh, see uh, the young faces uh, that uh, have all their futures ahead of them. Tonight, we celebrate their achievements and announce which university they will be attending this year. She's a 17-year-old incoming freshman at the University of California, Berkeley. Daniela is passionate about activism and advocacy for the representation and success of underserved or underrepresented groups such as communities of color, women's rights, and LGBT rights. Thank you to everyone for coming out tonight. We really appreciate your support for not only our students, but for the Latino community. One of his impressive accomplishments is becoming an Eagle Scout. It is the highest rank awarded by Boy Scouts of America. Apolinar is also very excited about entering the University of California of Santa Barbara as a freshman this fall. It's been a very hard journey for me, especially since I'm undocumented, so um, getting financial aid was uh, quite difficult for me, but I applied to a lot of scholarships. By her senior year, Evan completed more than 200 community service hours. She was very excited about her acceptance to Vassar College, a highly selective university just north of New York City. Evelyn is on a mission to make this world a much better place. Though I can't be there in person, I am so honored to be recognized during your inaugural Declaration Day. In her young life, Giselle has already been familiar with enduring some of the most adverse conditions any person can face in a lifetime. Every morning, she woke up with her key goal in mind. She would say to herself, I will go to college, I will do great things, I will make my family proud. She will continue to make her family proud as she enters freshman year at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo this fall. Chalisa earned the title of valedictorian of Siba High School's third graduating class. She was excited to have been accepted to the University of California, Berkeley, where she recently has begun her college experience as a freshman. After I graduate, I want to help others have access to quality, quality education too. One day I want to begin my own organization to lessen the disadvantages minorities face in America. Krista graduated with Valley Victorian Honors also as an AP Scholar with Honors and was Watsonville's High School Student of the Year. She will attend Yale University in the fall. This fall, Jocelyn will begin her freshman year at UC Davis. Eventually, she also has her sights on earning a master's degree after completing her studies at Davis. Jocelyn is a driven person who values education. She wants to dedicate her career to low and middle class youth, the opportunity, tools, and resources they need to achieve their own educational goal. I am so excited and proud to announce that I will be attending UC Davis. A literal and figurative village came together to help me go to college. Because of our combined efforts, I am the first in my family to, to travel down this path. Anthony Tapiz from Watsonville. Anthony is very familiar overcoming obstacles as well as setting goals as exceeding expectations. He has been doing this his entire life. My whole life I have been dealing with a lot of challenges. I was born with a hearing disability and I could not speak until I was seven when I had reconstructive surgery on my ears. That didn't stop me. I wanted to prove that people no matter who they are, no matter the, the color of their skin, their gender, they can go to college no matter what. And once it was my senior year, I was glad to get accepted to CSUMB. After college, I want to st I want to start a a business where I will help uh, minorities start a film career and help deconstruct racism in films.